Hello YouTube friends, how are you doing today? Um, my garden is looking really nice. It's looking looking very green and very lush. It's been raining for the past few days and that's been helping. The sun is in my eyes. I'm sorry if it bothers you that I'm squinting this much. But anyways, um, I figured it would be nice to bring you guys along on a garden tour. And I will show you all of the things that are beautiful in my garden right now. So here I have my little, um, is it lupin? In French it's a lupin, so I don't really know um, in English. I think it's lupin and it has beautiful blooms on it. And over there I have another one. You see the yellowish flowers? That's another one and that one is supposed to be yellowish white, but it's still small. So I'm not sure about the, the blooms just yet. So over here, this um, jungle, <laughs> I need to go a bit more towards the back so that you guys can see it better. So these are potatoes that we have planted in bags. I'm going to show you the bags. I've done this last year also. You see the bags? Yes, we've done this last year and it worked so well but we started harvesting the potatoes around this time you see the um, potato plants have little blooms on, on them and this is about the time where they start having little potatoes underneath so we started harvesting them when they were small and we ended up not having a really big harvest towards the end because we ate our own potatoes for about um, well, for about four months, <laughs> but this year we are going to do things a little bit differently and I'm also uh, going to show you, yes, we have uh, some weeds there, but also potatoes here. And so these ones are on the soil, on the ground, and we are going to harvest these as young potatoes and eat them as they are growing and young and then we are going to harvest the other ones in the bags when they are fully matured. Okay, so here are the potatoes. And here is one of my favorite spots in the garden. We have this arch trellis. It's a little bit old and rusty. It was here before we came. It was not on this spot. It was um, just on the ground. The garden was not, um, you know, planted. But yeah, so here I have this um, Isai kiwi. You know, those little um, kiwi berries. But we never ate fruit from it. It never produced. However, this year it's um, much more stronger than the previous year. So I'm, I'm expecting next year that we should have some fruit from that um, tree. And here at the bottom, I know it looks like a jungle. <laughs> I have some garlic here. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I've used uh, mulch. Now you can't almost... You can't even see the mulch, but I've used uh, hay as a mulch and so it started sprouting like crazy and there's grass all around the garlic and now I cannot pull the grass because if I pull the grass um, Well, I, I disturb the roots of the garlic and it's not good. It just comes with huge chunks of um, soil So yeah, unfortunately, it will have to stay like that and I have some beautiful flowers here. I know this looks like a jungle, but to be honest with you, I really love it. I love that this uh, part of the garden is like this, you know, super wild and crazy. I love these little flowers. I've sown this from seed, from a little um, seed disc. It has some bugs on it. I don't know what they are. Um, I don't know what that plant is, the name of it. But it's really beautiful. I have some cosmos here and some celosia. The middle one is pretty small and another cosmos over there. And I have some. This plant here is um, a dahlia and it's being half eaten by bugs. So I need to put something there. Take care of that. And this is my zucchini plant. It's surrounded by a lot of weeds. But it has tiny zucchinis and it will surely outgrow the weeds. These plants grow like crazy. They become huge. And I have a few more. But this is the only one that has zucchini so far. So this tangled mess 
is where I have my tomatoes. And I, I know it looks crazy. I can show you the little tomatoes over there. It has little tomatoes, but the thing is, I'm going to explain to you. I know this is not how you're supposed to grow tomatoes, but last year I grew tomatoes like this and they did great, but they were determinate varieties. And here where I live, summer is not super hot and the growing season is quite short. So tomatoes don't tend to get blight here. So last year I got this tomato variety, it was a determinate variety and it set fruit, all the fruit almost at the same time and then there was enough time for it to ripen and we enjoyed lots and lots of delicious tomatoes. However, this variety, it it didn't say if it was um, determined, determinate or indeterminate, if you don't know what that means, the, the determinate vi variety only grows... Um, you know, only grows uh, up to a certain height and it sets the fruit almost at the same time. The indeterminate variety just keeps growing and growing and growing. It grows these suckers that we are supposed to take off. And um, yeah, it keeps setting fruit throughout its life. So I, I'm not sure this is the best variety for us. Now it's a tangled mess. Last year it looked beautiful. I still don't think we're gonna get blight because we just don't, our summers are not super hot and our growing season is really short, but I am a bit disappointed and I have a feeling that we're not going to have a lot of tomatoes just because they are setting, um, you know, very far apart. So you have tomatoes at the bottom in the same plant and then you have flowers here and then you have more flowers that are closed here and it's going to continue like that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed but uh, I hope, still hope that we can have some tomatoes of our own. Okay, so this little plant is in a pot because I wasn't sure if we were going to have um, warm enough days for it and I was scared that we, I, I was thinking we would have to bring it inside. But yeah, this is a ground cherry and it's the first time I am growing this plant and I am really excited to try homegrown ground cherries because the ones I've tried before were super sour and I have a feeling that the ones that are homegrown, if our summer is hot enough, they are going to be sweet and delicious. So yes, I love this and I'm really looking forward to, um, to try these ground cherries. I had to show you these beautiful flowers. These are Rudbeckia. And they are so beautiful. It's like they're on, they're on fire. The colors, I, I just love it so, so much. So I had to show you this, of course, plenty of weeds all around because, you know, we have four children, we have super busy life, and I don't really have time to, to weed that much. And another plant that we are very excited about is this, um, you see these are blackberries. So it's about time for me to start harvesting these. I'm going to make jam with these blackberries. And they are about, some of them are about ready to be harvested, so we need to start doing that. Uh, and I'm going to harvest them as soon as they ripen, all of them. And I will make jam with them, hopefully a lot of jam, because, you know, my, my children and my husband love to eat jam, so... Yes, look at this, how beautiful. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? I love being in the garden. Okay, so last but not least, my amazing strawberries. They are not producing a ton right now. I think they're going to produce more as the season goes, as the season progresses. But um, I don't remember which strawberry variety and something is eating my strawberries. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Seriously, I need to do some pest control here. Anyways, um, this, I don't remember the name of this variety, but it was my husband that bought it, and I really don't remember the name, but it has these strawberries that are so tender, and they almost taste like um, wild strawberries, almost like strawberry bubblegum. They are so, so, so good. 
so I cannot wait to have some more of these. These plants are about three years old, so I'm not sure if this year they're going to produce as much as they did last year, um, in the previous years, but that's okay. Next year we will maybe put uh, new plants in. And of course, we also have a few of these. These are raspberries. And last year they produced a ton. I was eating handfuls of raspberries every single day. And hopefully this year I'll be able to make also some raspberry jam. That would be fantastic. But anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for coming with me on this little tour of my garden. I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing... It's, I know it's a, a bit of a mess in a way, but also it brings me so much joy. All the green is so lush. And also, this reminds me to tell you that even if you don't have time to weed and have a perfect garden, you can still harvest food from your garden. You can still have joy from your garden. So please be encouraged if you don't have time to have a perfect garden, um, but it, you still want to try, just do it. Just try it, okay? Um. So it's time for me to say goodbye to you today and I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you had some joy looking at my garden <laughs> as much as I do have a lot of joy looking at it. Um, have a great day. Goodbye.